All right, guys, Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. I wasn't able to do anything with my firearms last night, but I got a little bit more idea about what I want to do in order to make my travel weapon uh, more feasible and easy to use and fit the requirements that I need. And we'll go through that later on this evening. So, what are we talking about today? Let's just do this real quickly. I'm going to start off with this little statement here Quote, I will not support legislation that infringes on the constitutional rights of Nevadans, Lombardo said in a statement announcing his vetoes. I'm going to tell you something. I absolutely love this guy. Hold on one second. Got an email coming in. Can I call you later? Okay, so what are we talking about? This is by Associated Press. Uh, Gabe Stern, give credit to him. Nevada governor vetoes gun control bills, threatens to axe proposed state budget. Okay, well, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Right. Uh, the Carson City, Nevada, Republican Governor Joe Lombardo vetoed a trio of gun control bills Wednesday while his office threatened to axe the state budget if his priorities aren't addressed in the strongest conflict yet for Nevada's split party government. What we're talking about is a government. Our our society, we are we're not a, a dem democracy. OK, we are a republic. And what that means is there's you have so many different ideas and views that, that can contribute to the end result. And we say you House, Senate, Executive Branch. Okay, so you got somebody who's really close and they got ideas over here and ideas over here. Then you have the executive branch. And it's the part that's really cool that I like is like say for instance, you have Virginia, Richmond, uh you've got Roanoke. Those areas are heavily populated by a bunch of liberals, especially out the west part where you get the I can't remember the name of the area, but in any case then you have all the other little counties. So you have an equal number of, what did they say, Senate senators. And then you have a bunch of other little mix match. And you, by population, you get a bunch of these people that are involved in this thing. And those are the House guys, your co congressional folks, the, the uh, congressmen. Well, you may have a lot more of those guys in the populated area that are really liberal, where they're shipping all the Mexicans to right now, right? They're trying to make the uh, red states blue, blue states, whatever. So in any case, uh, this guy... The executive guy who was voted by a by population can veto this stuff. Okay, so <laughs> it's a combative shift for Lombardo, who previously said he would not use the big hammer of the veto. I love that. To get his school choice legislation passed by the Democratic controlled legislature. School choice, big thing. Why is that such a bad thing? I, I, I'm asking you guys, put a comment down below, but this gives people the ability to not have to send their kids to failing schools. But Alas, you have the teachers unions who want to sit. Well, I'm not going to get involved in that. But I have my personal views on this whole thing. And it just I think if the you got a school over here where everybody's freaking failing, these kids should have an option to go somewhere else. And I can't understand why the Democrats are so against this thing. Tell me why. Uh, he has also remained tight lipped on several ambitious Democratic proposals, including the gun control measures before Wednesday. That was yesterday. OK. The move comes a day after Democratic leadership said they would kill Lombardo's sweeping school safety bill, which would remove requirements for students to be expelled for certain acts amid a reported uptick in school violence. They instead invited him to pitch the measure as an, an amendment to the similar bill that they were pushing. Lombardo's, I'm just going to go on with this. Okay, so various blah, blah, blah. All right. If a budget was not approved by July 1st, state services, if he follows through with the stakes in extremist position and on an extremist position. Why do they always try to make out like we're extremists? Okay, I guess uh, who was it said the other day? If anybody, a Hillary Clinton, if you are uh, walking around with open carry, you're an extremist. All of a sudden, you're a terrorist. They're labeling you. They're putting it with you. And again, I say it: if you have a firearm, you're just a potential murderer to these people. That's all they care about. Uh, Lombardo's office did not provide additional comment on the budget veto threat beyond confirming his position. Meanwhile, meanwhile, this is to the point. Meanwhile, the trio gun, a trio of gun control bills marked the first vetoes of Lombardo's tenure since becoming the only Republican to unseat an incumbent Democratic governor in the 2022 elections. The move could be 
an early indication of how Lombardo will respond to other party line measures. Okay, so keep going. I will not support legislature that infringes on the constitutional rights of Nevadans, Lombardo said. We said that before. Okay, so this is interesting because this is by Associated Press. And you know Associated Press is a big old rag there, left-leaning. And we're going to talk about the, how they skew this article to, to do that. One of the gun control bills would have raised the eligible age to possess semi-automatic shotguns and assault weapons. And of course, assault weapons, please, from 18 to 20. Another would have barred possession of a gun within 100 yards of an election site entrance that, with narrow exceptions, while also solidifying language meant to ban homemade ghost guns. All right. None of these are in conformance with our constitutional right. I got mixed up right there. I was getting ready to say, so something's crazy here. A third bill would have prohibited owning a firearm within a decade of a gross misdemeanor or felony hate crime conviction. What is a felony hate crime conviction? Saying something bad online to somebody these days? These assholes want to keep you from getting guns. Okay, the, And here it is. The vetoes came moments before a news conference scheduled by Democratic leadership and gun control advocacies groups to urge Lombardo to sign the legislation. Standing in front of a legislative building, they chastised his decision. Uh. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? I desperately wish the governor would put safety of Nevadans ahead of partisan of politics. How about let's go ahead and live by the Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers, you bunch of idiots. Uh, the Democratic Assembly Majority Floor Leader Sandra Uragui, y'all have helped me out with that, who sponsored two of the bills and survived the 2017 Las Vegas mass shooting. Well, I guess, you know, if you got that going on, it's probably something that's in your mind. Okay, she said the bills would better protect Nevada in the wake of recent mass shootings, including one of this week in New Mexico, where an 18-year-old gunman killed three and injured six. Uh, you know, actually, uh, one of the things that I do agree with is this thing that uh, Biden and those guys are doing is providing money for mental health uh, towards our youth, Okay. Uh, giving the counselors more attention, so they have more attention. They can uh, anyway. Long story short, if we can address some of these kids' needs and inter interject or intersect or in, uh, get to them prior to them going nuts with a fucking gun, excuse my French, then yeah, I think that's a good thing. Lombardo, the Clark County Sheriff at the time of the Las Vegas Max shooting, had previously bucked other Republicans by supporting background checks, but he still positions himself has firmly pro second amendment while touting his nra membership okay nra it's a, it's fine uh but i like this guy he's 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 the politics are not coming into play but what he is doing is he is enacting and acting by the second amendment he promised on the campaign trail to veto any legislation curtailing access to ghost guns which there's nothing illegal about it you can build your own firearm for you to use okay that's law. That's constitutional. Privately made firearms without a serial numbers that are nearly impossible. Oh, nearly impossible for law enforcement to trace. Oh, Jesus. There is some concern that the wrong people get the guns. In his veto letters, Lombardo cited recent court rulings that struck down gun control legislation, including one that nullified a similar law in California that would have banned the sale of semi-automatic weapons to adults under 21. Okay. We've said enough. All right. Uh, yeah. He said the existing law sufficiently addresses people convicted of hate crimes, and the bill would effectively open the door to more laws. More laws. Hey, how about enforce the laws we have now? Arrest the people who are doing the shooting and the killings. Uh, keep them in jail, maybe. That's a, just a, what a novel idea, huh? As opposed to, the, they're just victims. The criminals are more victim than the people. You know, is, is your TV worth more than somebody's life? And I said, well, that fucker should have thought about it before he rolled into my house trying to steal my stuff, right? Democratic leaders who hold a veto-proof supermajority in the state assembly and are one way away from that in the Senate said they would continue to press for gun control legislation with or without Lombardo's cooperation. Uh Lombardo, who steered a moderate path, compared his primary challengers. Okay, we're not going to get into that. But in any case, guys, this is uh, this is really neat. This is a, a an individual who looks at our constitutional rights as uh, concrete. Okay, as as some of the people in our Supreme Court are looking at our Constitution, it is it is it is written. 
And it is there, and it's not to be misconstrued with all the stupid shit that they want to do. Okay? Uh, so with that being said, uh, Lombardo, I like this guy. Keep it up. Maybe he can influence more governors to go his way, as we really are, actually. So with that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Man, this is a good video. I'm piped up this morning, man. This is incredible. We're going to do some more gun videos, probably roll out there this evening. Uh, again, I can't wait to get these shotguns in hand. This is going to be a lot of fun. So it's going to be season of the shotgun. All right. That's it. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Is freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Hammer Down. So I am KB32, and I am out of here, y'all. Boom.